so this will be a bit difficult. Um, probably this video is gonna be a bit deep. It's definitely me talking about how witchcraft has helped my life and all of that. So it's very pertaining, much, 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 much to me. It's just me sharing my story, being vulnerable. So if that's not your cup of tea, click away, that's fine. And also just a little reminder that I'm just sharing my experience. I'm not quote unquote a psychologist or in uh, any sort of a spiritual counselor or nothing like that. Like I'm just sharing my experience trying to be vulnerable, like my word for the year, and going from there. So, witchcraft and body image, and how it's helped me. So, I mentioned with my little chit-chatty get ready with me that a lot of what witchcraft has done is helped me to really look at my flaws, or the things that I see as flaws within my face, my body, etc. and so forth, and find the sacredness in them, and find how important they are, because if the earth is sacred, and everything that comes from the earth is sacred, then my body is sacred. And that has significantly helped how I feel about myself in a lot of ways. I mentioned before, in a lot, I think uh, a long time ago in my quote unquote self love journey video that I did, it was a long time. I might have to re update this. This might be kind of hard at that, but I mentioned how I used to be a very confident person overall, and I still pretty much am for the most part. I don't really let self doubt and things linger too much on who I am, specifically when it comes to body image. I used to be very, very, like, no, confident. And part of that was, one, I was probably what society would consider a good, like, body shape. I have a semi-hourglass figure going on. I'm, you know, not, I'm a bit overweight at the moment, but then back then I was definitely quite fit. Even if there were parts of my body that I didn't necessarily like or th see as fit, there were still, like, no, I was pretty fit overall. So there are a lot of things where just naturally, it was like, okay, well, I was active person, I took care of myself for the most part. I ate a lot of junk, but in my young, younger years, teenager, young, um, early 20s, I was definitely way more healthy. As I got older and into grad school and then into a 9 to 5 job and like stopped being less active and kept up with my bad eating habits and didn't, didn't like take notice of certain things, uh, slowly but surely, of course, as many people do, I gained weight. And at first it didn't ever affect me until there reached a certain point, and I don't know where it was, where I realized that I hated to look at myself in the mirror, which is very weird for me because I, I have an old habit that I used to do when I was younger, and I used to do it every single day, and I have recently had to get back into the habit of doing it, which is just looking at myself naked in the mirror and looking at my full body and making myself smile at myself. And sometimes I do like an affirmation, like you were a badass or you look amazing or like I have the body of a goddess, like really like over the top affirmation, like craziness just to like iterate in my head the uh, association of me smiling and like the little bit of endorphins that I even smiling like releases with my shape of my body and associating me smiling with my body just helped so many times to build this bit of confidence in me and so it would, even other people would talk down to me or tell me I looked awful or whatever else that I would just ignore them because that seemed to be, it was a good train of thought that I had kind of like built up as a habit in my head that I look great, I look fine. And as I lost the, I don't know, I guess in my mind, the desirableness in my body from others, I started to recognize something else entirely and it kind of terrified me a bit. And that was the fact that I did, I, I definitely looked in a lot of ways desirable. I had, like I said, hourglass figure. My body was in decent shape. So that there was actually a very toxic mindset linked up with that. And it was that a lot of what I am is based on my looks, or my worth is based on my looks. And by that, how pretty I am, how desirable I am. Like, and I guess it's kind of like a bit of a cliche for a woman to state, like, I'm only as desirable, I guess, as uh, a sexual partner might want me, or how other people might see my beauty type of deal. But it was definitely something that kind of shocked me and terrified me. And slowly but surely, uh, this past year, I started to unveil a lot of things that I realized were told to me over and over and over again, and it kind of rooted its way into as something that I took on and believed. And so I would hear things like, even as comments on like my face, where people would say things like, you have a great stripper's body, but your face is eh. Or about uh, people talking about how good I look, like, there's always comments about my ass, my tits, about um, how, like, I would, I looked a little bit, in some ways, like, I had the Marilyn Monroe shape, like, that's what you want, that's what men want, and it was always, like, that kind of concept, and at first I, like, kind of held it up in, like, a pedestal, like, yeah, I have this naturally, cool, but then, like, slowly over time, I realized 
with guys, friends, or people who uh, were I was dating or whatever. It was little comments would come out. Things along the lines of, uh, you're lucky, you're pretty or you're just that basic pretty girl or and again sometimes it was insults sometimes it was a compliment but it was always a association of my worth with my beauty with my body with how desirable i was and that had totally rooted in so as i started to gain weight recently and i didn't feel as quote unquote desirable in that sense i lost a lot of self-worth and that is a really hard thing to admit that you've allowed other people's comments to invade your thought to the point that you don't see your worth unless someone else sees your body in a sexually nice way and it's really fucking toxic and fucked up <laughs> and i think one of the things that witchcraft helped me do is one find the sacredness in my body because all bodies are sacred if every body comes from the earth and everything is from the earth and the earth itself is sacred and everything it produces is sacred then i have to be sacred no matter what shape i'm in and taking that on and knowing that and then seeing like the diversity of shapes of goddesses over time you know their body images you know everything from like uh like really strong and leaf like uh diana to like more voluptuous uh, representations of different goddesses and knowing like because there's so many different parts of them that were represented right like in old pagan gods are seen as you know some sexy desirable the aphrodite type of deal uh all down to like maiden and very um innocent in that way to very like strong warrior-esque like there's all types within different uh pantheons of gods and their body types and how they were all valued all sacred all to be respected and feared and they were to be respected and feared not just for their bodies it was because they were sovereign they were divine and that helped so fucking much like recognizing that i don't even know what it was about it was seeing that their worth wasn't tied up so much in their form especially in gods who i didn't even realize like were in some sense like the idea like looking into aphrodite's myths and how people respected her or looking at how uh diana some of her myths and like how like just because some dude was creeping on her and her nymphs in the woods and suddenly she pissed and she's gonna make sure that you're eaten by your own fucking hunting dogs like you piss me off like there are great tales about the kind of respect it that these goddesses demanded and people gave willingly and it had nothing to do with their body or how desirable they were in some senses it did but in a lot of senses it was just because of the power they willed about the fact that like artemis being the goddess of wisdom and you know and the many different depictions that i've seen of them in uh some like depict the gods uh in a more sexually scantily clad manner and others like give other depictions of them and i liked the fact that i could link them up with they were sensual they were powerful and you know people did obviously linger on how the gods looked with their bodies but it wasn't the whole of who they were and so remembering that and incorporating that well there that's not the whole of who they were and it's not the whole of who i am how i look and my worth is so much more than that which really fucking helped um, and two what helped as well was me realizing then the choices that I had and how I could look, which was interesting because I used to curtail my looks in such a way to be that desirable figure, to appear in a certain way. And instead, this past year, I leaned back into a lot of things that kind of like sparked joy, I guess, in me, who just seemed to like bring me alive in a lot of senses. There is something about like, wearing more black and having um, jet black hair or having like red hair, like being that person that changes their looks all the time. Why? Just cause? Like just cause I felt like intuitively that I needed a marker of something with my hair or I needed to um, have a bit of a spark that these looks are all just to present what I'm feeling inside or to embody a look to help me feel empowered in something. Like it, the look is all about me. It doesn't have to be about what other people approve of. It was definitely a very like who feeling and finding the magical associations with like wearing black or wearing certain colors or with certain designs and things. And suddenly my look and how I presented myself had less to do with how desirable I was and had much more to do with what I desired, what I was trying to embody in my life, which was 
again, I found play again in how I looked. I found a lot of different meaning in parts of my body. And it was funny how, like, I used to get mad at, like, the size of my thighs, um, because I have, I've always had larger thighs, I guess, in the shape of my body. And it's something that, like, I pro I'm proportionally, I guess, I guess what would be commonly desired or whatever, but I used to hate how big my thighs were. And then as I thought of, like, the strength of muscles and things, I, like, would feel, just feel as I, like, tensed my thighs and felt the, like, the muscle and the power behind them. Because I'm always like, well, if your thigh is one of your most, like, powerful muscles in your body, it is, like, amazing to know that power contained in that body part. And then on the other end, I would see things like, I always hated how baby face, I guess, in some ways, my face would look. And so I realized with like makeup, I could play with that and like change it to look a little more chiseled, chiseled if I wanted. But then I also leaned into softer parts of my body of remembering that sacredness is not all one thing. It's not all, you know, being this way. It's being multiples. So I found the sacredness in finding the hard chiseled muscles and that I still have. Like even if I'm out of shape, like I still need muscles and bone and these there are these hard strength-filled elements that carry me around every day in my body but also then there's the soft parts there is this the soft parts of places of me where I'm a little pudgier or where I am you know have soft skin or the the roundness of my face and talking and finding like the sacredness in the maidenhood and finding the sacredness in you know certain things of my body that would lean towards the soft the gentle the delicate because that's sacred too I think looking at it from that divine aspect helped me to relook at myself and turn it on to what can I find and use for myself with my magic. Find empowerment in, because you know, I was just looking for ingredients in a lot of ways. It was just what can I use in a spell? What can I use in a ritual, an in intention to cast? What can I pull on that is already freaking a part of me? to make something come to me. And so focusing on the ingredients of my body, of the strength in the muscle and the bone, in the softness of my skin, in the changing things I can change, whether that's with makeup or with just the clothes that I wear on my back, and focusing more on like what I'm trying to bring about as opposed to how they look to others was very interesting because it still felt I don't know, it didn't felt superfluous then because I thought about like, oh, well, if I focus on what I want to look like you know, from a superficial standpoint, I guess, then I am being superficial and shallow and that is stupid and you shouldn't focus on that and whatever. And at first I was like, yes, that's where I want to more go towards. And then I totally changed. I went to a much more, no, I want to lean more into sometimes the aesthetic look of myself because that aesthetic look for me helps, Is it's a tool to do something a little more powerful and also leaning into those things that are subtle and easy and just a slight shift whether it be changing the color of my hair or you know doing a different lipstick color or wearing a certain color or wearing a different shape of clothing something baggier or softer to something more skin tight or like leaning into all those aspects helps me see that all of those things could have real good meaning for me in a sacred sense in a what I desired sense as opposed to worrying about how others saw and it was definitely still a back and forth like I definitely like wearing a lot more black now and I definitely get a lot of odd looks or some people at work will talk about how gothic I am or uh, like I get comments all the time it's like for Halloween is every single day for Sam or like oh she's so gothic like you're just you seem a little more unapproachable and and some things I kind of laugh because well, it has nothing to do with whether I'm approachable for others well that used to really worry me before now it doesn't it's more of just like, if you, someone wants to come get to know me, they can come get to know me. Like, I'm not going to change what makes me feel good so that I am desirable to others, so I'm approachable to others, so I'm in that light for others. And focusing too much on that and letting too many of those thoughts get in my head uh, really just made it, it bad overall my mental health, how I saw myself. I'm in the process of getting healthier. I don't want to be the person who is sitting, there's definitely some health things that have come up where I'm like, oh, certain limbs are going numb and they fucking shouldn't be <laughs> uh, from my lack of mo movement and probably bad circulation and a bunch of other crap. Um, I'm getting migraines and that definitely is probably from lack of 
movement and poor eating habits and other things like that like there's definitely some health issues that I want to address and probably being healthier losing a little bit of weight um, exercising eating healthy those types of things it will just help so I'm on a mission to do that because one I feel better if I'm taking care of my body and I want to get back to how I felt in my early 20s I mean it hasn't even been that long I'm only 26 but I want to get back to that so I am focusing on you know, losing a bit of weight eating healthier exercise all of that stuff finding witchcraft and looking into paganism and the sacredness of all of these old gods and connecting with the earth and focusing it back on like witchcraft is all about my will exerting into the world so refocusing less on like what is the fuck does everyone else want and focusing on what I want it's amazing how better I feel about that and I even did a spell about what was it I think I was finally feeling good about myself after a while and so I did a spell about my body image and taking care of myself and being in a healthy place both in my mind and in uh, my body so making sure I was in a healthy shape and actually doing things that are good for me. It was the first time I did blood magic. Blood magic for me was something always that felt like it had a lot of oomph to it. I wasn't necessarily opposed to it but I was like I don't know what oomph I want to put that on and suddenly like the appearance of myself and my body image and my mental health was definitely like no that can have some oomph on it like definitely because it just felt like it was very permanent I guess to use blood like it was like a very like permanent like a blood bond like and whether that's because that's been put in me from like culture or whatever else like that is definitely an association I have with it. A blood bond is powerful it's got some oomph on it. And so I did a blood spell about it and that was, oh god, at least four months ago-ish. And that helped so fucking much. Like I didn't even realize, I was like, oh yeah, we can use magic for this. And keep up my good habits. I keep up me changing my mindset, not focusing on others. Like my weight is still fluctuated. It hasn't been a perfect journey. I haven't lost a bunch of weight I lost a little bit and then I gained a bunch back and now I'm back on to losing some and getting back into good habits like it kind of wavers back and forth but my mindset is not like berating myself over and over and over again because oh my god your stomach is a little pudgier like I find still appreciation in how my body currently is and how my body will look when I make it a little healthier I am definitely in a much better place mental health wise and part of it I think rituals do, I think they have a great effect on us like that just because it, it's a trigger for us to go and this is different and this is done so the universe will feed you that energy. But also I feel like so much of this stuff is a bit of just a, a, some mind trickery in some senses too, right? Like I had a habit and I continued a little bit with the habit and cementing the habit with like a ritual was just me showing that like yes I'm continuing with the habit. And I think energetically something shifted because I felt it. I felt something shift. I was like oh my it's not as hard anymore to look at myself in a positive light like I used to it's not as hard anymore after I did a little ritual with like a simple candle some herbs and my blood to talk about how to look good and how to feel good about how I look and how that isn't the whole of what I'm worth my looks and my body and all of this stuff are tools for me to obtain what I want and I can play with the desirability of how others see me. That's fun too. Leaning back into my sensuality was another part that I had to kind of undertake again because I felt a little bit like, oh, well, if I'm finding, if my being desired by others is my problem, then I became, I don't know, I felt more conservative in my dress. I felt more conservative in a lot of ways. Like I stopped wearing anything sexy. I stopped wearing anything that I would perceive as too revealing or anything like that because I've it felt too toxic or something and I've had to re-lean into that again that like sex is fine fucking how uh being sensual and you know using uh, a sexual allure to you know play with and entertain with others is perfectly fucking fine if I want to use that it is there's nothing wrong or off about it and if other people are going to again how they appear see me is not the point. The point is do I can feel connected to my sexuality, to my sensuality? Do I feel connected to how my body looks? Do I feel connected and proud of all of this while also knowing there's so much more to me than just how I look and how I appear? And that I can use all of this as a magical tool to exert and bring things into the world so I can experience what I want to as opposed to me kind of striving all the time just to get the validation and the weird sense of desirability from others. So yeah, <laughs> very rambly. But that is 
kind of how my body image and witchcraft have kind of gone together. Uh, comment down below, have you used witchcraft or anything like that in that sense? Have you struggled with body image in some way, shape, or form? And has it been a toxic mindset to you? Have you used witchcraft to help you with it? Spells or anything of that sort? Or have you kind of steered away from that and it's a little bit more separate? You don't necessarily link them up together. All that below. I make new videos every single week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.